Threats poured in today on social media targeting schools in just about every Hampton Road city from Newport News to Virginia Beach. This comes just two days after two students were shot at Heritage High School in Newport News. School leaders tell us threats of violence aren't uncommon after something like that, but police tell our Allison Basil they take every single threat seriously. She begins our team coverage tonight. Threatening social media posts or spreading fear across the 757. The, the message that I would send to individuals who think that's funny to post those things, it is not funny when you're sitting in front of a judge. Officials with multiple police departments tell 13 News Now no posts have proven to be credible. Any threat that comes across, we investigate. No matter what that threat is, Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew says they beef up security at the schools. Even if we, uh, if there's just chatter that, hey, something's going to happen, do we send a message that we're not going to tolerate that? Tuesday, a threat against Denby High School in Newport News and Phoebus High School in Hampton made its rounds on social media. And the investigation is kind of like peeling back an onion, if you will. Hampton Police Captain Jason Price says they worked alongside Newport News Police to close this case in a matter of hours. We collaborated with FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force. Price says they arrested 20-year-old Ned Cocoon from Newport News for allegedly making the post. He is charged with one count of threats of violence involving a school. But you could get between one and five years in jail um, and up to a $2,500 fine. Chief Drew says if any red flags pass their desk, you'll be the first to know. Um, if we have anything credible, we will make sure we get that information out to our schools and to our community. Um, and if there's something that we haven't been able to validate, we will always, always err on the side of caution. And if someone makes threats against multiple locations or makes several social media posts in the same day, police say that could stack up consequences against them pretty quickly. In Newport News, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Police say the best thing your child can do if they come across a threat on social media is to tell an officer or another adult about it right away. Kids should not share the post with their peers. Police say if they do, it only fuels the cycle.